young, broken down and tired of living life on a very go round and you can't find the fighter. But I see it in you, so we're gonna walk it out and move mountains. Yeah, we're gonna walk it out and move mountains. In the I ride of a disruptor. Born to this anthem, the most powerful disease that us as humans can handle. Child of trauma. The smallest of samples can turn lives upside down. There are many examples. And still, in 1993, a man came from Philadelphia to San Diego, from San Diego to leader, from leader to legend, a man of the people, a living hero, Dr. Ross. This is your legacy. Question, what is fear? Something to overcome? A hurdle to leap over? An inconceivable obstacle. Fear is false evidence appearing real. To be fearless is to reject incarceration. What's a statistic to a story that defies its calculation? What's a profit margin to a profit for the marginalized? I know someone fearless, courageous to stand up and stand out against oppression with the boldness to speak up and speak out for our collective betterment and humble to lead and inspire from behind to move a generation of change makers to a better tomorrow. One where all have a place at the table. All have tongues untied from treacherous timidity. Dr. Ross, you, a man of faith, look at God's divinity as an opportunity to extend hands and grace and love instead of barriers to cast one another away. You have always understood that the call of the Great Commission has always been to open doors, and to use these palms as extensions, like links in a chain coupling us towards a greater destiny. Together, what kind of man transforms reservations into reservoirs? The kind that prays for the release of burdens and the expansion of dreams for strangers at the church of La Placita on his lunch break. Only one whose work meets his faith to pump the blood into the hearts of architects, building healthy communities, supplied with only every stone other builders had refused, prioritizing love and spirituality in the midst of inequality, inspiring us to be unapologetically us, reminding us in California and beyond that we belong here. Un hombre de la gente, sin miedo al hablar, sin miedo al fracaso, es un paso al ganar, cómico y serio, pero siempre real a la mar como aves en vuelo. Su visión es de un más allá. Because life can be hard, but what is life without joy? And this journey, has been as humbling as it has been humorous because its shepherd compares the mission to the movie plot of The Matrix <laughs> and refers to his senior vice president as Morpheus because he bears a striking resemblance to Lawrence Fishburne. <laughs> like birds and slack. Dr. Ross's vision is beyond average view because he's a smooth operator. Smooth operator. I think, I think birds should represent you. Eagles should represent your commitment and bravery too. Ravens should represent your clever boldness gifted to few. And we rise to represent your love. 
Rise of moons. We rise of afraid of news. Rise of, of moons and movements. Your love Time in a Robin Sun. The California Endowment under the stewardship of Dr. Ross had one clear mission to more equitably expand everyone's access to affordable health care. Because circumstance should not dictate the viability of one's vitality. For fixing broken systems, for fixing broken systems has always been the vision. And that's why in a war of attrition, you cannot lose your ambition. For the time is now to plant seeds for the future. The time is now to ensure that we have help for all. The time is now to return power, power to, to the, the people. people. Power, power to, to the people. people. The time is now to return power to the people. Power to the people. The time is now to return power to the people. Power to the people. Dr. Ross. Here is your graduation. Look around you, sir. Do you see all of the ecstasy in their eyes? Do you see how their smiles break the cocoons off their faces? Do you see this room of butterflies? Your legacy will be celebrated today and for many years that are still to come. We just pray that this moment be a small reflection of the tremendous change that you have had. Es un honor, Dr. Ross, a celebrar tu legado. It's an honor, Dr. Ross, to celebrate your legacy. Look at how well you have served God. What an honor to rest with an earthly breath. What a legacy to know your students are prepared. And so as we say farewell, and you journey on to what's next, Dr. Ross, God bless. <laughs>